table's round. Yeah. Just like I, I wrote you in my letters. Yes, just like you wrote in your letters. Dr. Jessen gave me the book you brought, Marjorie Kemp. She's your favorite. That particular book is one of her minor works. Mom, no, don't say, don't. Can't grab stuff off the board. This key is evidence. Mom, the unsub that we're looking for, the, the bad guy knows things about my colleagues' personal lives, things that only you would know. Do you write about them in your journals? My journals are none of the government's business. I'm not the government. Well, no. this certainly looks like a government office. Mother, do you write about my colleagues' personal lives? Why did you bring me here, Spencer? I need to ask you some things about a man I think you might know. A bad man. He, he's killed some people and he's, he's holding a girl hostage. You think I know someone like that? Will you just watch the tape and see if he sounds familiar? He's a very emotionally disturbed man. Reed, I got to the end of the IP string. Sir Naif, the Fisher King, his name is Randall Gardner. Thousands of books published every year. This is impossible. Year. Agent Hotchner? Yes. The delivery guy's on the way up. The one from the press conference? Thank you. The book has to be the right volume and the right publication date, or the code won't work, right? Okay. Now, when you talk about Nellie Fox, it's in regards to the 1959 White Sox. That's the year that's important to you, but for some reason, this is a 1963 card. Well, maybe you couldn't find a 59. I think a pale clouded yellow butterfly was easy to find, or a, a music box that specifically plays the Trout Quintet? So a book published in 1963. It has to be. Maybe. The guy who delivered that puzzle to my house just turned himself in. You delivered a package to my house yesterday. Well, do, do I need a lawyer here? Late in the day to my wife. I guess I could check my logs. You know exactly which delivery we mean. Look, this guy comes up to me on the street with a package. He says it only needs to go a few miles, and that a girl's life depended on it. And you didn't find that suspicious? He said a girl's life depended on it, man. I was going to take no chances with something like that. I see. So you're a humanitarian here, then. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Seriously, do I need a lawyer? Mm -hmm. 